What's up everyone, welcome to today's video. Now this is gonna be a nice sit down Q&A. Recently everyone's gotten so into kind of podcasts and talking videos, everyone's dying for some information and they want something that they can listen to while going about their day, driving in the car or whatever it is. So that's what today's video is gonna be, so relax, get ready and uh, let's get into it. When did you really start into the gym? Played sports since I was 12 up until I was about 19 and that is when I put all my efforts into the gym. I'm 26 now so I wouldn't say I've been training seven years. Uh, consistently, when I entered the gym when I was around 18, 19, it was kind of just like going in, doing some curls, not really knowing what I was doing. I'd say the last five years of my life have been properly consistent training. What's your biggest achievement so far? I think my whole setup as a whole, I'm just really happy with it. You know, uh, multiple streams of revenue, an amazing community, amazing network and circle of friends. That would be one of the highest. And just kind of my overall quality of life. I'm, I really am happy with just the way things are going and where I'm at in life. And I wasn't always happy where I was in life. I used to be a very negative person. So my biggest achievement is kind of just my, my whole lifestyle, really. When did you start taking supplements? Oh, when I was like 15 years old, I took creatine and I honestly thought I was on steroids. I was literally like, I'm gonna go bald, my balls are gonna shrink and everything. It was hilarious, I got so ahead of myself. And back then when I was a young lad, I thought that supplements was the whole thing and that training and nutrition came after that. And that is so backwards. Supplements are 5% of your results, if even. What job slash career would you pursue if you weren't a YouTuber? I get asked this one a lot and I know it's kind of similar, but I would definitely like to work in marketing or PR. Um, public speaking, I would say that, but I, I do that already. Uh, so probably if I was to choose a more corporate role, it would be something to do with marketing and PR. And that's something I probably will go into when I'm a little bit older. I would like to turn the creator agency into um, more of kind of, an, an, instead of an events company, more of an actual agency itself, which is uh, one of the reasons why I actually call it the creator agency and not the creator events company. So yeah, stay tuned on that. What were your final few hours before going into Love Island like? You're all there like kind of meeting each other, all the Casa Amore people, all the new lads and uh, one or two of them were like what the hell Rob what are you doing here yo I watch your YouTube channel so everyone was like buzzing with each other having a lot of fun and super friendly so yeah it's it's crazy like you walk in there and you're just like was I actually watching this on TV last week favorite Krispy Kreme donut I'm gonna be a basic boring bitch here and say it's the double glazed uh, or the original glaze whatever it's called I think some of the toppings and the other ones can get a little bit sickly. How do you stay productive and get shit done? All I wanna do is look at my phone. That is something that a lot of people say to me and if I was, like my whole life is online, my whole career is on my phone, so if I was constantly just you know looking at my phone and just sucked into it, I would literally have no life. I'm actually, when people are with me, they're like, oh, you, you don't really go on your phone too much. Ironically, I'm reading the questions off my phone. Something that has helped me a lot is turning off all notifications on my phone. Um, the only notifications I have on are PayPal and Stripe, because I, I find that motivating. But yeah, just turn off all notifications on your phone and just, there's also some apps that will tell you if you're spending too much time on your phone. So, you know, I think phones are amazing. I think the whole smartphone revolution, I think it's done more good than bad. But yeah, you gotta be conscious of how much time your head is stuck in your phone. Another thing that I do to stay really productive is I write everything down. And some people say, why don't you put this in your notes? Again, you wanna spend as little time as possible on your phone. I think there's something about writing something down physically uh, that makes it real and it, it's always open in front of you so it's a constant reminder of what you need to get done in a day. Thoughts on SARMs? This was one of the most asked questions especially because as a joke I put on my story I go training SARMs today when I was doing curls so I was just joking around there. I don't take SARMs and I actually haven't researched into them too much but they claim to be steroids without the side effects which I do not think is true. SARMs are very new and um, so there's not much research on them at all so we don't know the side effects. I would actually say you're safer just taking testosterone or you know normal steroids if you are going to and uh, not that i recommend that at all i actually recommend people saying natural especially unless you want to be a championship bodybuilder but so i don't know too much about its arms but i think uh, there's just so much more research to be done on them so be very careful interested in coming to australia i was going to go to australia in january with joey d but my book publishers which 
which you can buy and pre-order in the description box right now, okay? Go check it out. Well, I was gonna to go to Australia in January, but my book publisher said, Rob, we need you to rank for, you know, promo for signings, uh, events and stuff like that. So they said, if you can hold off on travel as much as possible until, you know, maybe late January, that'd be great. So I wanna to go to Australia for like a good month uh, as soon as that's all done for. So maybe like mid-January to mid-February. Uh, let's see. Where do you see yourself in 10 years time, bro? My job didn't even exist like five or six years ago. I don't know and neither do you. All I know is that no matter what I'm doing, I'm gonna be doing something I'm truly passionate about, something that gets me just wanna jump out of bed in the morning, something that I really enjoy and I'm gonna give it my all. So I'm not too sure. Instead of, uh, instead of always kind of thinking like, Oh, you know, this is the plan, this is the plan. You should just like learn to adjust and adapt and roll with it. Of course I do have plans, you know, I, I literally I plan everything so extensively, but um, you know, no one can tell the future. What happens when you take pre-workout before a game? You score some sick tries. Hashtag bang. How to do exactly what you do. Spend a couple of years putting beneficial content on the internet that people enjoy and they learn from. Maybe it entertains them, it informs them and motivates them. You need to do something. You need to give reason to people to watch you. Like people are giving you 10 or 15 minutes off your day. What are you giving back to them? It has to be mutually beneficial. So once you do that, you know, you'll build up a community and then you can start you know, monetizing it and, and making, making a living from it. But first, you're gonna to need to provide that beneficial content that people enjoy. Content is, is the currency of 2018, so that's what things come back to. What has been your biggest life lesson? There has just been too many to even think of one. There's too many to even think of five. I don't even know where to begin to answer that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to say the first thing that comes to my head and it would probably be stop caring what other people think and do what truly makes you happy. I'm sure you've heard that 100 times before, maybe this time, me saying it to you right now, just maybe for some reason it'll kick in, you'll finally do that. What is something that you'd say to your teenage self? I would say, honestly, put happiness first. It is, it's just the most important thing in life. Do what makes you happy, it's like, I am just all for happiness. It's like, what is success? It's like success is being happy. It doesn't matter what you do because everyone's gonna determine success in a different way. I'm sure there's so many people who'd hate to be an online content creator and it would give them anxiety, but I absolutely love it and it makes me really happy getting to do what I do. So find that thing that makes you happy and then do that. Like, you know, that, that's life. You know, if you're probably to ask me the meaning of life, I definitely don't know the meaning of life. If I was taking a guess at it, it would probably just like live a life that you're happy with. And also, live a life that makes other people happy as well. Why don't you move to America? I'm sure I will at some stage. I was chatting to someone who works in the US Embassy and apparently I'd have a really good crack at getting an O-1 visa. You can look that up um, to kind of see what it is, see a bit more about it. But I definitely can see myself living in LA for like, three, six months, you know, maybe even a year. I think it would be a shame um, seeing as I do what I do and like, um, it's one of the few professions in the world, <laughs> professions, you can even call that, it's one of the few jobs in the world um, that I can work for from wherever I want. So um, yeah, I'll definitely live in America for a little bit. How did you lose your virginity? Uh, when I was 15, <laughs> I, 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 I answer anything, man, I literally. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is, I mean, keep it real in this channel, you know? <laughs> when did you lose your virginity and how? I was 15 years old down in a beach in Ireland and uh, yeah, it was absolutely disastrous, but uh, we got it done. That's a very interesting way for you to give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> Sound got everywhere, yeah, yeah. Not ideal. What's your least favorite thing about your job such career being mainly based around social media? I, I don't even like to even, like I'm an extremely positive person. I don't even like to think about the negative, um, but it would probably be, there's some things that like, it's just not easy when you're a public figure, like going through a breakup, you know, and when everyone is looking in your business, everyone's talking about you, like even if you, you go on a night out, you know, people are like, did you hear Rob do this? Even if it's not true, like people will just make up so much shit and so much rumors about you just for the fun of it. Like people will just be like, hey, let's just start this rumor about like Rob Lipset, like just for the hell of it. So that's kind of annoying, but at the end of the day, it's all just talk. It's all just people making noises with a hole in their face. So who really cares? So yeah, I guess that's my least favorite, but you know, really who cares? It's, it's, not, even, it's not even a big issue. Okay, brilliant. 
All right, I gotta go soon, so we're gonna finish up this Q&A. All right, there's literally like a thousand questions, but maybe I'll try and answer a few more of them uh, on my Instagram story. Instagram is at Rob Lipset. Go follow me there. I post every single day on my stories and on my feed. I would follow me if I wasn't me. Favorite time and exercise to work out has to be push day, if I'm being completely honest, which is delts chest and triceps and I love training around midday and so I wake up, prime myself for the day, drink coffee, get some work done and then kind of slowly ease into things and then yeah, train around midday. So uh, you can always catch me in raw gym at around between about 12 and 1 and people often do, people often come in, you know, they train to say what's up and I love meeting you guys. I meet someone that watches my videos every single day, like without fail. Like if I'm walking to the shops, I will meet someone. You know, if I'm in the gym, I will meet someone. If I'm at a restaurant, you know, getting sushi, the waitress was like, oh, what's up? Uh, love your vlogs. And I love that. It's honestly the nicest thing in the world. I'm still blown away. I'm absolutely blown away with how nice you guys are when I meet you in person. And I honestly love it. So if you see me around, please don't hesitate to say hello. What would be your best advice for someone trying to lose fat but gain muscle? P.S. Love your work. It's really unlikely that a lot of people will be able to do that. For most people, the vast majority of people, I'd recommend concentrating on one thing at a time. If you try to put your focus in all these different places, this is like an analogy for life too. If you try to put your focus in all these different places, you know, you're never gonna get anything really done efficiently. So if fat loss is your goal, you should really concentrate on that. If gaining weight and building muscle is your goal, you should really concentrate on that. There are a few scenarios, like if you're a beginner, maybe you're overweight, have a lot of fat to lose, and you're new to resistance training, uh, then it's very possible that you can increase your muscle mass by aggressively lifting heavier, setting personal records in the gym, and being in a caloric deficit. So if you do those things, you train hard, your diet's on point, um, and you do what I just said there, well then there's a good possibility that you can gain muscle and lose fat at the same time, but understand it will be a lot slower than if you just picked one at a time. Um, so pick what is kind of more important to you. All right, we've got to go about our day. I hope you enjoyed this quick little Q&A. Thank you so much for watching. Leave it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good weekend. Oh, got, like, people won't believe me. Like, you got to tell them, like. Sure. So, so just as I was saying, oh, you know, I, I get to meet you guys every day. You know, meet the LF Army every day. Yeah. Okay, the maintenance man, okay. Tell them what just happened there. He literally just came in and he was like, oh, I love your videos. Can I, can I, can I get a picture of you with an Instagram or something? <laughs> he was literally here. He was here to fix the toilet. Yeah. Exactly. So, so, and he said, he goes, can you put my company exactly. on, on your yeah, channel? Like, hey, so go good timing. Yeah, and he was like, oh, I watch all your videos. There were 10,000 carry challenges and everything. Like, yeah. The LF Army are now officially coming into my house. Like, they're literally coming in. But anyways, I'm actually going to put his website on the screen because I'm a man of my word. And uh, now we can finish the video. Peace. Keep it real. Night here. Bye-bye.